What is good, beautiful people? It has been a minute since I have hopped on here to record a little podcast episode, so I figured it was about time that I started to pick these back up again because I really enjoy these. I really find a lot of value myself. I, I think it, it gives me an opportunity to kind of um, speak a little bit longer in a format. And I always kind of have these realizations like as I'm kind of speaking out loud. So I really enjoy making these episodes. So I um, figured it was about time to, that I hopped back into these. I really like these. And I believe we're on episode 51. So welcome to episode 51, yeah? Um, this episode is going to be titled What the Law of Attraction Means to Me. Because I figured that is the title of this podcast, Law of Attraction. And I never really explained like what that means to me. Or like what that even is so um or even why i decided to call that call my my podcast that so yeah let's let's hop into that and uh kind of go from there so i remember a few years back when i was first making this podcast and um i didn't really get too heavy into like creating episodes until recently but i would just hop on to friends podcasts and record things and just kind of post their audio extracts my you know my my podcast as well. So um, whenever I first came up with that name, I remember seeing this, this quote regarding like the law of attraction. I kind of like always knew what it was, but I always thought it was like, like it's hocus pocus stuff, you know? And, um, but it was like, what you think you create, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you become. And I saw that and I was like, yeah, like that sounds, uh, sounds pretty spot on. Like I didn't really take things seriously or really, um, I guess, believe in it a whole lot i was just like yeah like i'm always just gonna be a good person i'm always just gonna think good thoughts um and do like what i what i know is morally right um and it's just how i'm gonna be as a person and it wasn't until really recently i would say that um that's why i wanted to kind of hop when i you know be getting this back up again picking this back up again why i wanted this to be the first episode that i started and recreated and started to elaborate more on because um, I think it's also just from like reading like a couple books that I've really gotten into. Um, one of them being Becoming Supernatural, which I'll kind of expand upon by Dr. Joe Dispenza. But, um, you know, this idea of like visualization and manifestation, um, like thinking good thoughts and attracting them, or, you know, visualizing what you want your future to look like and your future life to look like and, and actualizing that into your life. Like I didn't really take that so too seriously or as seriously as I should have. Um, I really believed in it as much as I I should have um, until recently. And um, what I think what I'm getting at is like, I, I think like reading, reading Dr. Joe Dispenza's book, Becoming Supernatural is really what's gotten me onto this um, fully on believing like, um, how real this is, like how real um, the law of attraction is. And like looking back on it, it makes perfect sense on why I labeled this, entitled my entire podcast, like this, you know, this title law of attraction, because like that's how I've really lived my entire life is, um, is like putting good out into the universe and it's gonna come back to you one way or the other. And um, like I've always been this, this person that's always, like live by this example, but I think like recently I started taking it very, very seriously and like really, really leaning into it and believing it um, as far as like thinking good thoughts and like being more loving and, and gentle and, um, and calm and understanding, um, you know, especially with others, but especially with myself as well. And I think it all starts like internally and then you can kind of share it with the rest of the world. And um, I think that's kind of been this project, project is what I'll call it, um, that I've personally been working on is being so intentional, um, like with my, with my thoughts and with my focus and with my attention and with my awareness of, um, of really not only wishing like good for my life and like wanting my life to uh, develop and um, continue on like a really good path and um, 
but but being very like intentional with with my focus and, and intention and awareness and um like like wanting that like really really visualizing myself like as this future my future self and um like not only doing that but what i was getting to is also like wishing that truly intentionally and um super wholeheartedly and genuinely and altruistically like for other people too and that's almost i think it like coincides right so i think when you when you put whatever it is like good out into the universe i truly think it's going to come back to you one way or the other like it might not be immediate it might take some time and you might go through some like some some ups and downs until it like, it all kind of makes sense but i'm a firm believer that it, it 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 will come back to you in one way or the other and I, i'm a firm believer that completely the opposite way as well like if you um if you're thinking bad thoughts or if you're if you're not if you're kind of jealous or not wishing um good things on other people like to happen if you if you don't forgive other people if you don't um if you have some kind of bad energy like in your heart for for anyone or like any specific individual or if any there's um and maybe you get kind of jealous on on whatever it is um like the universe like for some whatever it is like it won't reward you for that and i'm like i'm just a firm believer in that and um i know it might sound kind of far out there because i'm like kind of this frou-frou meta stuff i know that's kind of how i always used to look at it but i think it wasn't until really recently that um i've, I've really noticed it more and realized it more and thinking that um i'm just like very grateful and, and and that's where i place like my heart and my intention is on these these elevated emotions is what i'll kind of hop into right now is um that reading this book called becoming supernatural by dr joe dispenza has really opened my heart and opened my mind and opened my eyes physically uh, from reading you know reading his book to to the actualities of, of some of this. So um, he, there's this past, there's this quote that I actually wanted to include in this, this episode in, in his book where he says, as we, as we know, all perception is based on how the brain is wired from our experiences in the past. We don't perceive things in our reality the way they are. We perceive reality the way we are. And so when I read that, when I read that passage, it was, it's like this unlock in my mind, in my heart, um, <laughs> in my soul, like it, because it was so undeniably true. It's like something inside me just resonated with that. And um, I think it's very fascinating. Like I've always been someone who's very, just really interested and curious and really loved um, like, like people and in, in, in understanding like what makes them them, like uniquely them. And you think about like mannerisms or things that like you don't even know you do or the way you speak or the cadence in which you speak or certain you know hand gestures or something of that nature um it's just so fascinating to me it's so cool and, and how like people's like mind like works they're conscious um and like i thought to myself like i when i read this it's like that's so accurate like it's it's kind of crazy to me to think that um, like if you take someone who might you know, seemingly objectively have everything that they wanted in their life, um, but if you like go to ask them, like they kind of, you know, anyone, right? Um, and you, if you, someone who has like every single thing from like, like materialistic things, like if you were to think of it in that nature, um, and ask them like, you know, like, are you, you know, I don't know. Um, what I'm really getting at as far as like asking them a question or something like that, but it's something like, you know, they, they could say like, oh yeah, they're like the happiest person in the world. Or, like they're the most positive, like fulfilled and everyone like, you know, they're, they're set, they're good. Um, but then, you know, maybe you ask another person who's a very similar way and they might, they might say like, oh, I have all these like problems and I don't really like what I'm doing and I don't like what I'm, you know, what I'm doing with my life. I don't like these relationships that I have, like but it looks like I have everything, but I don't feel like I have everything. You know what I mean? Um, and I just think it's fascinating to see like, like reality is, is really what we make of it. And that's why 
I'm like this quote really stuck out to me is it's uh, like a lot of like how we perceive our reality isn't just black and white, you know, it's not just like, this is how the world is, this is how, um, where we like live at, like the people that we hang out around, like, it, like this is how it is. It's, it's so subjective and that, that subjectivity comes through, through our past experiences. And I think it's, that's why I really think like how you kind of perceive your, like your, like your life and your reality is based on, it's, it's not black and white. It's, it's very gray. And, um, I think two pe two, di like two people could have a very different way of perceiving and, and choosing to perceive reality, whether that's like conscious or not conscious, but, um, or some, you know, unconscious, but, um, that's why, like, I'm a firm believer in, in really why I decided to title this podcast Law of Attraction, um, just as a simple reminder and really make this episode just to kind of go in depth a little bit more on, in detail of, of, like, why I decided to title that and come bring it full circle. I know it was a couple of years ago, but it really makes sense for me as well. Um, bring, like, up until this day right now in this moment is because that it makes sense for me to, you know, comes coming full circle now to this, this point in time is because, um, because I really do think that it is a, a conscious choice to, to see like your reality in a, in a positive light, in a wholehearted light, in a, in a genuine altruistic, like loving, caring, um, forgiving, wishing good on other people. Like wishing success for other people, wishing wealth, health, and happiness in other people. I'm like, I think that's such a firm intention and choice that you consciously make and can make every single day, um, in like every single moment, like within your days. And um, I, I do think it may start with like yourself and being like loving. And um, when I mentioned that ele those elevated emotions, that. Uh, Joe Dispenza's Becoming Supernatural book kind of expands upon um, it's really starting in your heart and just kind of like these elevated emotions he speaks on are, are consisting of like love and joy and peace and um, like forgiveness and and like gratitude like, like like really placing your um, like your foundation as far as like how you live your life like based on these emotions and um, and I kind of think back on like my over the course of my life and i i really why well, i'm such a firm believer in this 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 idea of, of the law of attraction is because like that's how i really lived my life and um you know I, I attribute that a lot to my family and the way that i was raised um you know my, my mom and dad my parents um my family were just like, so loving and caring and, and raised me so right and so properly that um i don't know if it was like if, you know humans are just naturally like <laughs> inclined to feel this way but um i think really just seeing my my family like operate that way like really guided me in that direction and um maybe i was like naturally inclined that way but that just like amplified it or like fast-tracked it in a way and so um and just really like seeing where i find myself now it's i really attribute it to like always just being like a good human being and wishing good upon other people and just grounding myself in this love and gratitude and um, just like putting that out in the universe. You know, I know this sounds kind of far out there and it's probably kind of a lengthy episode, but um, I'm a firm believer in it. And I'm, um, I think it's a lot easier to wake up every single day and encounter blessings and be grateful for something. And, um, I think that's that's how I choose to see my days, and um, you know I attribute a lot of to where I find myself now to um, like being fearless, not being scared of of the unknown, of stepping into things that might might be objectively maybe you know I don't know how the future is going to unfold by taking this this next step, but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna step into it with um, like an open heart and open mind. Um, as well as like a loving heart and a loving mind. And I know that I'm gonna be okay. And, um, you know, I just ground myself in my blessings. Like I have the health of my family, I have the health of my friends, I have like my own health. 
Um, and I just like really appreciate that. Like it's life is so, <laughs> it can be so simple. Uh, but not, you know what, like I get deep like this and I'm not gonna apologize <laughs> because this is just who I am. Um, and uh, that's how most of these episodes will probably, probably unfold and develop. But um, I think it's so easy to see life that way. And um, you know, it's, I, I think it's a very conscious choice that, that you need to that you make every single day. Um, but I think it takes practice, but uh, I think it is easy to be like, okay, yeah, I have uh, a roof over my head. I got food I can eat. I got a, a loving family that, that cares about me. I have a great friend group that motivates me to do better. Um, they're all doing well. They're all achieving their own forms of success. And I'm, I, you know, I'm just like blessing them that they can they can continue like all everyone around me, my circle and, and the good things that I have in my life. Um, I really think they come from just having that mindset of, of law of attraction, of putting love and gratitude and, and wholeness and forgiveness out into the world and the universe. It's going to come back. It's going to come back, you know, right back to you. So that is all I got for this little law of attraction episode and uh, explainer video. Um, and I uh, hope you uh, took some value from uh, today's little message. So. I'm going to try and do these a little bit more often. I'm going to get back into this. And uh, I really find a lot of fulfillment and uh, reward from, from making these episodes. So I uh, love you guys always. And I will see you soon. Peace.